Next thing we'll try to do is make a slingshot object like this octopus arm, which flings you away. So when the player steps on it, it rotates back and charges up, and then flings them away depending on how close they are to this uh, point down there. This system will use the X and Y velocity messaging system that we set up on the trampoline springy objects for the geyser and for the conveyor belts. So let's get into it. You could probably use a bunch of different objects as a slingshot, but I've used this octopus arm, so let's go and add a script to it. Like I said, it's going to rotate back and then fling you forwards. First we should make it immovable, so we'll say when created, set immovable to true, that's from physics. Then we need it to detect if the player touches it, so from physics again we want when I'm touch get toucher. And we want to ask if it has if the toucher has tag player. So we need an if. And then we want from sensing myself has tag. Get rid of myself. From variables we have instance toucher. We want to know if the toucher has tag player. And the way that this slingshot arm is gonna get triggered, uh, it's going to just have a variable that we set active and then constantly in the constantly loop it will decide how it behaves because it needs to spend some time charging up so we'll go to variables and we'll go to our properties there and we we will set a true false variable named active active and we will set active to true and uh, when the object is created we'll set active to false, so it's not active when it's created, then we touch it and we set active to true. What we should do in here as well is just check um, am I not active? If I'm not active, then I'll set active to true. So from control flow we will use this if block if active equals false. That way, whenever we touch it, we don't keep setting it to active all the time. We only do it once if it wasn't active. Okay, so we can trigger it now by touching it. And when we trigger it, we want it to start to uh, rotate back, like it's kind of charging up, and then it's going to boing, fling us forwards. So we want to constantly loop. We're going to constantly ask if we're active. So control flow if and then if active if we are active we're going to rotate backwards so from transform we'll set rotation of myself and we will uh, subtract it by a small number so we'll set rotation to uh, we'll use a plus block and change it to minus and then from transform we want rotation of myself minus a number so we'll set the rotation to rotation of myself minus one. So it'll constantly be um, rotating back by one degree. Let's play it, give it a name, call this slingshot. Jump onto it. And there we can see it rotates, but it rotates kind of weirdly. Let's have a look at debug mode. 